Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I'm here with the Pop King Paul box. That's right. Randomly you will see me open them. I know when I first started YouTube and I first was doing a lot of mystery, I couldn't get my hands on a Pop King Paul box to save my life. Now, you know, they don't sell out as fast because as we know, Funko just doesn't sell as fast. Anyways, I did grab one of their recent boxes. So let me go over and we'll take a look at that so you know the details. All right, so I grabbed the Pop King Paul's Creature Feature Guaranteed Overvalue Mystery Box. It was $53.75 and it's 40 boxes, four pops per box, price taken from Hobby DB, which is what we prefer. Okay, and then down here we got some of the other details. Uh, we got all that guaranteed value. Top box was $275 at the time of boxing. Every other box was at least $65 plus at the time of boxing. This is not a horror themed mystery box. Well, the top hit is a horror pop. There will be pops from all genres, okay, which is fine. This is a fun, cheaper price point box with a chance at a very nice horror grail as the top hit. All sales are fine, all blah, blah, blah. Okay, now let's go ahead. Um, let me go up here real quick. So this is the pop. I thought it was a pretty cool pop. Not something I collect, but always nice for either a mystery box run, <laughs> go figure, right? Or a gift or something, or, you know, we'll see. All right, so anyways, I'm probably not gonna hit it. Let me get back over to the other one. So I got the box here. It does have a little bit of crease, but I don't think that's any damage. Then, you know, I'm sure there's four pops in here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna pop this box open. I'm gonna try not to peek. Like I said, I don't buy his boxes that often, so I don't remember how they're wrapped on the inside. So we're gonna take a little peek to see how we're gonna need to pull these out. Okay, so this is the top. So I'm gonna flip it over, which is funny because that was the bottom of the box. That's why I chose that side. Did look like there was an anime pop in there. And it's not that I care about anime pops because we collect anime pops. My problem is, is that we usually get the ones we don't collect or we get the ones we already have. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, this is much better. As you can see, they are all in protectors. So we're gonna pull them out one at a time and we're gonna see what we got and then we will check value. All right, so first one here correctly and boom. All right, we got Star Wars Bastilla Shane. This was a GameStop exclusive. Actually, she's kind of cool looking. Let's see her, there you go. Oh, I think we've had the Shadow Stormtrooper actually on the back here. So that's pretty awesome. Not one we keep because we don't collect Star Wars. That way. All right, and boom. In, in, in Uwasha? Oh my Lord, Seshamaru, Heshamaru, something. Pretty cool though, look, she got a little moon on her head. She got her swords. She actually, oh, is she supposed to be missing a hand? Look it, she's missing a hand. And she's like, I thought it fell off at first, but no, I guess she's supposed to be missing a hand. Cause I seen something right there. I don't know if you guys can see it like towards the back right there, but that's actually, if you look right here, it's her tail or something. <laughs> that was her hand that fell off. All right, so I know he doesn't collect that anime. That will not be a keeper. Boom. Oh, another anime. Naruto Minato Nem Nemzika. Again, I will have to ask Spectre. I don't think this is one he would keep. It's pretty cool though. He's got like the throwing blade thing and then, I don't know, some type of ball. I don't watch this anime, so I don't know what this is. I know that we've had the six path one and probably a few others, but I think he has one or two six path and I have extra ones, but he has one or two in this collection. Last pop. So we've gotten two anime and a Star Wars. Let's see what this one is. All right, ready? Boom. And we got Marvel. We got, we got Wade Wilson, 2020 Summer Convention Limited Edition. This is Deadpool, right? This is Deadpool. I'm, I'm sure this is Deadpool, if I remember correctly. I'll have to look that up, but for some reason, this is screaming Deadpool to me. Again, not something we would collect. I don't do Marvel. So we're going to go ahead, though. We're going to check value, see if we at least made the $65 that... He said we would make. All right, so let's start with our first pop. We'll go in the same order as we pulled them. This one is $11. All right, next one we got is the glow in the dark. Nope, is this one glow in the dark? This one is $15. Okay, so we've gotten 12 and 15, so that's 27. 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the in in Uwasha. So we're at 27. This one is 18, so $45 right now. So I think that means the Wade Wilson should be worth at least 20 for us to hit, I believe, value. But I'll have to double check that. 45. This one actually is only worth 16. So he puts us at 55, $61. So we did not hit guaranteed value. We missed the guaranteed value by $4. I get that pops can fluctuate a little bit. I mean, it's probably been about a week or so since uh, he dropped to these. So I'll give it a $4 fluctuation, but none of these are great pops uh, because we know anime doesn't sell unless it's certain ones. I already have a ton of anime that I can't get rid of. Star Wars doesn't sell either. So, you know, another crappy one that won't go anywhere. This one, someone may want, oh, Spectre may want it. I don't know, I have to ask him, but I think we've had this pop. We may actually have it still, I'm not sure. I think, okay, so yeah, this is Deadpool. So someone may want this, especially with the Deadpool Wolverine movie, because if you look, he does have the claws. But again, not something that, that I would keep in my collection. So anyways, let me know. Have you scored a Pop King Paul box recently? Was it any good? This one is why I don't buy them that often because I've yet to hit anything where I go, wow, what a great box that was. No offense because I, I know he's a really nice guy, but I, I miss my mystery box company. So I have some that I would just be like, wow, what great pulls, you know. I miss value by four bucks. I'm sure the pops are decent. They're just not... They're not easy to get rid of pops. Partially, you know, but it's a chance you take with the mystery box, right? What do they say? I did it so you don't have to. No, I'm going to stick with that one. I bought one so you don't have to. Now you see what it's worth. It was a 50 whatever dollar mystery box. It was a $65 guaranteed mystery box. We scored $61. Maybe because each pop protector is worth a dollar. That would be four pop protectors. And that would put us at the 65 trying to put a positive spin on this here. The only problem is, is out of the four pop protectors, three are ones I will not use. This is the only pop protector from seven bucks a pop. Those are the only ones I put on my pops. Let me know out of these pops, which one was your favorite? But don't forget, leave that comment. And if you're interested in joining the Patreon, there is a link down below. Otherwise, stick around, check out my Patreon video. They get something every single month. And until next time, keep on rocking. <laughs>